You know, I was playing GTA San Andreas, and I thought to myself, boy, the quality of living has really gone downhill in this city. So I thought we should do exactly that. Let's examine the quality of housing in GTA San Andreas. Let's rock and roll. All right, so in order to judge the quality of housing in this wonderful world of GTA San Andreas, we have five points. Okay, we have one, the bathroom. Does it have a toilet? Does it have a shower? Does it have a sink? The second one, does it have a proper kitchen with appliances? The third one, do we have a proper place to sleep that's not a sleeping bag on the floor? How is the cleanliness overall in the home? And lastly, outside environment, which we will start right here on Grove Street, our first house in the game. This is our mother, Beverly Johnson's house. Uh, so I could imagine that this house is going to check all the boxes. That's just my guess. The out, let's check the, uh, the old outside environment here. Uh, the outside environment seems pretty good. It's a nice, safe area. Uh, yes, it is in the, quote, hood, but it is in a cul-de-sac, which is pretty nice. It's got multiple escape routes if you need, <laughs> which should not be taken into, an, into account when you're thinking about the safety of a home. Uh, but uh, the outside environment, it's pretty clean. Uh, all the garbage is bagged up right here, uh, set on the curb for the San Andreas garbage men. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, it also has a nice garage, which does get some bonus points for parking, although the walls seem to be peeling off. But that, listen, we're not, we're not judging here. Uh, worth noting here uh, that the windows are boarded up. No, no, no. Stop, stop aiming on the people. The windows are boarded up. So that is uh, a bit concerning uh, for the overall quality of the home. Uh, everybody deserves windows. We do have windows up there, a window there. But worth noting that the, the front bay windows are boarded up. Uh, let's uh, go inside and see what happens. Okay, so let's, uh, you know, overall, pretty clean. Pretty clean. We do have some nice couches, a nice television, nice entertainment there. A uh, nice window to outside, of course. Um, checking out the kitchen, minus the obvious firearms in the living room, or in the kitchen. We do have a stove, fantastic, nice counter space. A double sink, which is pretty fantastic. That's more than I can say. We got a microwave, a toaster, uh, a good old-fashioned ice box over there. We even have an ironing board and an iron. I've never noticed that. Plus a kitchen table. Now, folks, this house is uh, is checking all the boxes so far. This is pretty fantastic. A uh, wonderful kitchen, beautiful space. Uh, really, the last thing, the last two things we need to check are we need to check the bathroom and the bedroom. So a lot of these doors you cannot go in, so we'll go in the bedroom right now. Uh, we do have a nice place to sleep, a nice big bed. Uh, you know, you got some dressers and drawers here. That's pretty fantastic. Uh, pretty run-of-the-mill bedroom here, uh, which is pretty nice. You got a window here. Now, the one thing we cannot check is the bathroom, which I'm assuming is in here. Actually, you know, come to think about it here, there's got to be some more bedrooms here because Beverly Johnson, our mother, had to sleep somewhere. So I'm assuming that this is a bedroom, right? And and this is a bathroom. Now, listen, I don't want to assume here. I don't want to assume because there could not be a bathroom in this place. Uh, we got a nice closet area, real nice closet area, but you can go in the closet, but you can't go in the bathroom. Listen, I don't know, man. If this place had a visible bathroom, this would be a really high-quality place of living here, folks. Uh, so, yeah, with uh, four out of five checked boxes, folks, this is this is a pretty decent place to live. I suppose if you need to go to the, the to the facility, you could go outside and go to your, your neighbor's house, but not having a bathroom really hurts it. So, folks, with, with that being said, let's move on to the next safe house. All right, arriving here at our next safe house that we're going to examine, this is in El Corona section of Los Santos, uh, right above the airport here. 
Uh, so this actually is once again in a cul-de-sac in a very nice neighborhood. We got some nice houses here. Uh, very, very nice pieces of property here. This is our home right here. We're going to go inside, but first... Whoa! Whoa! No, no, no! Please! It is not safe out here! I was just going to say, let's check the quality of the, the environment outside, but we're getting shot! The gang violence is unreal! That's a big X, folks. That is a big X for the uh, outside environment. We are getting shot. Do not come in this neighborhood unless you want to get fucking killed. Good Lord. This is not a safe environment at all. Do not bring children in here. That's a big X on the outside environment. Although we do have a garage, which gets bonus points. But before we die, let's run inside and check the quality. This neighborhood will get you killed. But once again... Overall cleanliness, once we're in the home, is actually pretty immaculate here. Uh, very nice and clean. We got a lot of separate rooms here. Good lord. Uh, so let's start in here. We got a nice bedroom here, a nice uh, entertainment stand. Uh, big, big check mark on the uh, place to sleep that's humane. That's fantastic. Nice big bed, nice comfortable bed. Wonderful for a human. Fantastic. Really, really happy with this. Uh, in the kitchen, uh, we got a nice kitchen table, uh, some nice counter spaces, some cupboards. That's pretty nice. It actually doesn't look like we have a refrigerator. Unless these double as a refrigerator, but I, I'm going to go ahead and say no, they don't. Uh, but we do have a microwave and a toaster uh, and a coffee maker and a double sink, which is pretty nice. But folks... We do not have a refrigerator or an oven. That is a big X on that one, folks. Big X on that one. Uh, I cannot condone this kitchen as a, uh, a good quality place of living. So unfortunately for this apartment in El Corona, a proper kitchen with appliances does not get the old Joey C. Uh, like check mark of approval, if you will. We do have a nice living room, though. Some nice couches. See, this apartment is really beautiful. Like, look at the look at the quality of these couches. You got some coffee tables, some nice plants, uh, some surround sound. You also don't have a TV in the living room, which I find odd, but that's fine. This is this is probably just a a hangout. They got ashtrays right there, so you know this place smells like cigarettes. Uh, in here, we have another bedroom. But also, folks, I can't help but notice that there's no bathroom, which is once again concerning. Let's go into the closet and see if there's a bathroom in here. Once again, no bathroom. Same interior as the uh, Grove Street one. Wow, I never noticed that. That is a Vice City Easter egg right there. That is Vice City right there. Anyhow, folks, I don't know about this this uh, this piece of property here. The outside environment was was awful you damn near got shot uh, we did get shot at we almost died the overall cleanliness inside was pretty wonderful we have a place to sleep that's humane that that gets a wonderful checkpoint we do not have a proper kitchen with proper appliances which is not good how are you gonna store food like it's just it's literally inhumane and we also don't have a bathroom with proper uh, toilet showers and sinks this house does not get a pass I am very upset with this. Uh, matter of fact, we need to call the San Andreas Code Office, the, the Office of Code Enforcement, if you will, uh, because this needs to be dealt with immediately. Okay, let's go to the house that inspired this series. It's all the way over here in Angel Pine. Here we go. I'll meet you there. All right, here in uh, Angel Pine... We got some we got some things happening. There are people dead on the street, uh, which is very concerning that nobody seems to be addressing that. I don't know what's what's happening here, but this is the home. This is the nice log house that's in the middle of Angel Pine, which seems like an odd place for a home because it seems to be like a factory warehouse right there. Actually, I think that's a sawmill. Yeah, it is an Angel Pine sawmill. Uh, next door to a bunch of other commercial buildings, uh, plus next to a a J and J's restaurant. Would you look at that? So you'll never go hungry. Hey, look, body armor. Okay, so yeah, the outside environment seems to be, other than the dead bodies that were over there, seem to be okay. 
Uh, let's take a look at the back of the house. You got some windows. You got a back door, a nice window. Yeah, this this seems to me like a real nice house. You got a nice chimney there. All right, so let's go inside and check this out. So outside environment gets the old Joey C check mark, but I got to tell you, the inside of this place, just looking at first glance, the roof seems to be all moldy and falling apart. So I got to say, and look at all the mold that's on the wallpaper. I mean, you got a giant crack through the wall. The wood trimming seems to be pretty nice. You got some nice electrical outlets right there, but the ceiling is all I need to know. If that's all mold, then this this is not safe to live in, dude. So the, the cleanliness overall inside gets a big no-no for me uh, because even... Dude, look at the ceiling in here. You can't live in here. You can't, like, ingest the fumes that are just falling from your ceiling. Also... This seems to be like one big studio. You know, you have your television here. You have your kitchen here, which is you have moldy food on the the countertops. But we can't we can't blame CJ because he's only here every once in a while. So I'm not, I'm gonna let the moldy food pass. But worth noting, we do not have an oven and we do not have a refrigerator. All we have again is a microwave. And a toaster. I don't even think we have a coffee machine this time, which is concerning. So this place does not have a functioning kitchen. Oh, my God. It's our first bathroom. Folks, we have a bedroom here, and we have just our toilet out in the open. This, well, listen, that gets, that gets points. Although it doesn't have a shower... It does have a toilet and a functioning sink. So if the outside environment gets a checkpoint, the overall cleanliness gets a, a, a fucking huge red X because look at these walls. They're falling apart and the mold on the ceiling. You got it. You do have a nice place to sleep that's humane, right? You got a nice big bed and you also have a proper bathroom, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, but you don't have a kitchen. So the big red X's are the kitchen and the cleanliness, which I don't know, man. That's that's up for you to decide, right? Like, I wouldn't live here because of the wallpaper. Like, look at that. Dude, you could shoot bullet holes in the wall, and it would literally just blend right in with, to the rest of them. That is just absolutely disgusting although big props for the bathroom and the kitchen um everything else is is just concerning i mean we need to call the fucking health department we need to call the san andreas code of of the code enforcement i guess is what it's called because by god look at this this is disgusting this is like it was like this house was abandoned and they just threw a bed in here and they charged $1,800 a month in rent. So this is this is quite concerning, folks. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. There's a, a couple of uh, houses in San Andreas that we examined the quality of living in. So I hope you folks enjoyed that. And uh, the moral of the story is don't rent your housing in San Andreas. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Keep your eye out for the next video, episode, movie, live stream. Whatever it is, man. Cherish the precious moments. Be love and stay dude. And don't rent in GTA San Andreas.